Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation? Yes, yeah, solution from here. We can label this as equation one and this as equation two. That is, from equation one, we make y the subject and take x to our side, which implies we have y equals to 100 minus x. Then, this we label as equation 3. Then from equation 2, which is x times y equals to 100. We substitute equation 3 here, which implies we have x times y, which is 100 minus x equals to 100 here. That is, here x open this bracket, and we have 100 x minus x squared equals to 100 on this side then we rearrange on this side and we have minus x square plus 100 x and take 100 to this side become minus 100 equals to zero here then next step to get rid of this minus multiply through by minus one now this here become plus x square and here we have minus 100x and this become plus 100 then equals to 0 here then here we have a quadratic equation we are a equals to 1 b equals to minus 100 and c equals to 100 then applying the quadratic formula which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 ac that is here we have x equals to minus minus 100 plus or minus square root of 100 minus 100 square minus 4 times 1 times 100 over 2 times 1 that is, next step here, we have x equals to minus 10 minus, that's plus. That is, we have 100 plus or minus square root of minus 100 square, that's 10,000 minus 4 times 1 times 100, that's 400, then over 2. That is, here, we have x equals to 100 plus or minus square root of 1000 minus 400 give us 600 sorry that is 9600 then over 2 here that is and here we can write this and we have x equals to 100 plus or minus square root of 1600 times 6 divided by 2. Then, when we have root a times b, we can write this as root a times root b. Then, we separate this and we have x equals to 100 plus or minus square root of 1600 times root 6 all over 2. That is, this becomes x equals to 100 plus or minus root 1600 give us 40. Then root 6 all over 2. Then we can separate this and we have x equals to 100 over 2 plus or minus 40 root 6 over 2. That is here we have x equals to 100 over 2 that's 50 plus or minus 40 over 2 that's 20 then root 6. That is here we have two possible values of x here. That is we have x1 equals to 50 plus 20 root 6 and we have x2 equals to 50 minus 20 
root 6. Then, from here, we get the corresponding value of y from equation 3, which is y equals to 100 minus x. Then, yeah, y1 equals to 100 minus x1, which is 50, plus 20 root 6. That is here, minus, open this bracket, we have y1 equals to 100, then minus 50, minus 20 root 6. That is, this is the same thing as y1 equals to 100 minus 50, also 50, then minus 20 root 6. That is, we have the first set of solution x1, y1 here. When we write it out, we have x1, comma y1, and that's the same thing as 50 plus 20 root 6, comma 50 minus 20 root 6. Then also, we get the value of y2 here using the same relation. That is, here we have y2 equals to 100 minus x2, which is also 50 minus 20 root 6. Minus also open this bracket. This becomes y2 equals to 100 minus 50 then plus 20 root 6. At this year, we have y2 equals to 100 minus 50, that's 50. Then, plus 20 root 6. And also, the second set of solution, x2, y2. When we write it out, we have x2, comma y2. This is same thing as 50 minus 20 root 6, comma 50 plus 20 root 6. And when we check this, we discover this solution here is interchange. The x here is same thing as the y here, and the y here is same thing as the x here. Then let's check if this satisfies these two given equations. From equation 1, we have x plus y equals to 100. Then we can substitute the first set of solution x here we have 50 plus 20 root 6 plus y which is 50 minus 20 root 6 is this equals to 100 on this side then 20 root 6 minus 20 root 6 cancel each other and we have 50 plus 50 is this equals to 100 on this side and 50 plus 50 here gives us 100, which is equal to 100 here. That is left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Then these solutions here satisfy the first equation. And also for the second equation, which is equation 2, that is x times y equals to 100. When we multiply this, we have x, which is 50 plus 20 root 6 times y which is 50 minus 20 root 6 is this equals to 100 on this side then here we apply difference of two square when we have a plus b into brackets open brackets a minus b this is the same thing as a square minus b square that is here we can write this as 50 square minus 20 root 6 all square it is equals to 100 on this side then 50 square here give us 2500 minus we square 20 that's 400 times root 6 square that's 6 is it equals to 100 here that is, here we have 2500 minus 406 gives us 2400 is equals to 100 on this side. And 2500 minus 2400 gives us 100, which is equals to 100 on this side. That is, left hand side also equals to the right hand side. That is, we conclude that these two equations also satisfy the second equation.
and thank you for watching don't forget this step subscribe for more videos and turn on the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comment see you next class and bye for now